Alright, we're back with Pokemon Shining Pearl. Uh, last time, we planted these berries. Uh, what else did we do? I know I was supposed to take these off screen, but then I started recording as the game was floating up, and I'm like, oh well, I guess I better take care of them then. So we'll just take a couple of seconds to do that, I guess. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's see, so we planted these berries. What else did we do? Well, we went to the lake by our town, and we met Team Galactic there, and they took the spirit of the lake, Mesprit. They were pretty desperate to get Mesprit. And now we are going through Mount Coronet, or at least we will be, right after this, to go through the mountain pass and get to where we think they're headed next. Well, actually, we would know where they're headed there next. Is this a... have we interacted with this person? Oh, I guess we did. Okay. Anyway, they're going to Snow Point City, or the lake by Snow Point City. Let's see, we can use this here. Oh, it's Bibberal, too. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, yeah, we can go there. Let's see about uh, moving these other boulders, though. I'm gonna put on a... Repel. That, 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 that. Oh, it's not gonna be there. Not there. Okay, that's about what I thought. They're locking us out of going over there. But I think we can go over here. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. It's a Bidoof for Rock Smash and then a Bibberol for uh, Strength. Stop saying, uh. Hmm. Let's see what's over here. Okay, it's this side. Where exactly is this side? Just for perspective sakes. Okay, it's next to Eterna. Well, we're gonna have to... Actually, I think it'll be faster to... We won't have to go through the whole cave. I mean, normally that wouldn't be an issue, but... We do have to use a bunch of strength. Uh, I'll hold off on that for now. I think this is actually a greater step count, though. So it uses up more of our... Uh, repel usage. But we wouldn't have gotten through the whole cave without having to use the repel anyway. So I guess it probably might have even saved a couple of repel uses. Okay, what's over here? We should probably be hurrying along. But here we are. I guess it was just a small detour for a rare candy that I'm never going to use. Oh. Let's see here. So I'm guessing she's going to evolve when she evo uh, levels up while holding that. And I hope she's happy enough for that to work. I think what made me confused is that in Arceus, you actually do evolve that Pokémon... You know, like, by using... Do we have somebody who has defog? I don't suppose that's a, uh... One of these. Oops. Oh, I see. It's not the full list, so that's why it does <laughs> goes through the number so quickly. Oh, okay. Why would a wild Staraptor... I mean... 
I wonder how that works. Like, does it get summoned from far away, and then we have to wait like a couple minutes? I don't know. Anyway, in Arceus, you actually have to use it like a regular stone, and like... Of course, you have to wait for it to have a high enough friendliness, I suppose. But you, you do touch a stone to it. You don't, you know, have it hold the stone. So I think that's what I... Because uh, you don't hold items in that game. So you know, then you have to do it like that in that one. I think this is the Feebas Lake. seem to remember catching some fee bass back in the day. I, don't, I, I remember, I think it's like, it's on a specific tile that the fee bass is during like the random encounter or something like that. So like there's only one fee bass in the lake at a time. Oh, I have repel on. Okay, let's take that off for a second. I won't try to look for fee bass too long or anything. Does that work? I'm not seeing any Pokemon so far. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Is the random encounter really that low? I mean, it can't be that for tall grass, because I know it's not like that for tall grass, so maybe they made it really low for swimming. Which I suppose is fine for standard gameplay, but if you're looking for Pokemon on the water, that doesn't work out too well. Okay, that took less time. We'll just do this a little while. Probably two more encounters, and then we'll move on. <laughs> this probably I'm probably not even right, this isn't the Feebass Lake. So swimming, swimming, swimming. Alright. We'll give it one more after this. <laughs> has it occurred to anyone that Absol has a beard? It's like a big beard. Okay, just Zubat. I would have thought we'd have at least see some water Pokemon. Oh, wait a second. Is it swimming, or do you have to use, like, an old rod to be able to catch Phoebus? Maybe that's what it was. I guess we could try fishing a little while, too. Well, let's see. Just a couple times. We do have an old rod, don't we? I would think it would be this one. This bag. I'm not seeing it, though. Maybe it was... I guess it was key items, now that I mention it. Not even a nibble. I'll do this five times, I guess. That was too... Ah, uh, Magikarp. Magikarp are everywhere, aren't they? Man, so it's a low level, too. You can't, like, wait till later to catch Magikarp. You know, so you don't... So you can avoid leveling it up. It, they're just always weak, I guess. Although, I think we caught ours at, like, level 15. Maybe 16. 
So it was pretty close to evolving. I guess that was the third rod usage. So now we'll just do two more. Maybe that was only the second one. Whoops. No. Hmm. I could have. Now that I think about it, I could have sworn it's that you're swimming. So, I'm. Yeah. That, that's right. Because it's like. Maybe you need to swim while fishing at the same time. Because now I'm really thinking about it. I definitely remember, you know, swimming around and looking for the right spot. Hope that's not a... I think that is a mosquito and not a gnat. Mosquitoes look a little more complicated. Gnats are just like... One dot of creature. But a mosquito has, you know, parts. So I think that was a mosquito that was buzzing around. If I wasn't doing something like this, I'd, uh... Prioritize its death. Because I have every intention of keeping the mosquito population... Close to zero. If I can, I let them get out of control. Wow, we got to a wintry looking place really fast. The map makes it look like everything's really huge. Like, oh, and now we have to go all across this whole big place, but it's really a very short distance. We do have a bit of a path to go here, though. What's the actual way we're going? Well, <laughs> I was just about to say, well, now we might come across some ice-type Pokemon, but uh, no, we're finding one that's strong against ice, but not ice. It's hailing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hey, shouldn't the protect protect against a little hail too? Come on, man. All right, let's see here. May as well try and catch him. Man, we always got that pressure going on. Ooh. I guess uh, using Protect there actually would have worked out pretty well. Oh, never mind. I guess that was more than he could handle. It is. I'm, I was thinking, oh, Vesqu Vespaquin's special attack is pretty low, so it should be fine. But his special defense is probably even lower. So yeah, that's probably why that wasn't so good. Wait a s Oh, that was a Pokemon of the same level. That's why Repel had no effect. I'm fully uh, kitted up and equipped. Anytime will be fine. I guess it means, e like, equipped with her whole kit. Laura... Of course, I suppose she also means equipped for the for the snow. Ooh. Du -du 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 Ooh. Uh oh. Fell in love.
headbutt. Wow. Oh, man. Alright, we can try this one more time, I think. Uh-oh. She tricked me. This made me think she didn't have any good moves. And then she used it at the last second. That's very clever. Very clever in the... Uh-oh, she has, uh... Our... Okay, I'm gonna pull her back right... Well, actually, now that I think about it... Well, maybe she doesn't have fairy typing just yet. Uh... Okay, she does. So I think that means her fighting moves will do neutral damage. Okay, this would probably work, right? Rats. Oh, man. Fuck. I wonder if that does more or less than what Hail would do. Oh, that's lame. Let's see here. Aqua Tail, uh... I'm thinking no. I do like Aqua Ring. You're telling me that, huh? That we get affected by the hail, but we don't have time for the aqua ring to take effect. So, stupid. Man, Orton Bear has really got weak in this time period. Alright, now what do you have to say? Perhaps I should maybe change into a more comfy outfit. Mm, why would that be a good thing to do? Oh, good. I guess it didn't matter which way you went then. Let's see. I'm an ace. I can see that you're an ace too. Oh, these are supposed to be ace trainers? I thought they were maybe just snow people in particular. And, um... He probably has fighting moves too, I think. Like, double hit as well. Now that I think about it... Alright then, Kadabra. Why would you send in your psychic type against the dark type? What, maybe you have Dazzling Gleam or something, I don't know. Whoops, I didn't want to do that.
Kinesis. Does that make me make it easier for him to be hit? Oh, accuracy. Weird. Yeah, I pretty much do that every time, huh? Focus energy. Focus energy. We'll probably... Yeah, let's get rid of detect. He's got flash and slash and night slash. I guess I should say slash and flash and night slash. Okay, Amber Palm. Let's see a normal type. Yeah, let's just go with that. Power up pounds. That's it. I knew you could do it. Wow. That could be useful in this map. I guess I should say this area, you know, that has a lot of ice. Just as I thought, he suddenly started freezing. Because his soul's no longer on fire to warm his body. Anyway, you can pretend to be ordinary, but your eyes tell me another story. Hmm. That guy seems to be able to acknowledge your strength pretty easily. He can sense your power. Ooh. Now are we going to get a nice type? Ah, finally. In case, let's go regular slash. It's hailing, it's snowing. Swagger. Grr. How dare you insult me. Now I'm really angry, and I'm gonna hit you really hard, but I'm so annoyed I might hit myself instead. Oh, this will be a nice fitting Pokeball for this Pokemon. Okay. Okay, now you're making me really angry, but I'm not any more confused. I didn't realize that regular Pokeballs were so useless yeah, later in the game. I don't remember them being this bad. Set speed? Yeah. What do I Ultra Ball? Let's go so far away from the other regular balls. Hmm. Guess we're never gonna catch any, or we're never gonna buy any more balls less than Ultra. I feel like I should just use them up. If you can sell items, though, I'm, it's probably better to just sell them, but I. I don't think you can sell regular I well no, I guess you can sell regular Pokeballs back. Hmm. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge. That is the way of a trainer. Yeah, I guess so. Maria. Ah, gold duck. Right. 
and now my legs feel all itsy. But I don't think I've necessarily been bitten. I just feel like I have, or whatever, you know? You know, it's, uh... When you think... Something bad's gonna happen, so it, you feel like it has. And we don't have unlimited time. Because we're getting damaged every turn. But if we do this... Aquat's at A. In theory, our Night Slash should crit like every time, right? Maybe I should give him the item that makes crits happen more likely. Then that would really virtually guarantee it. Can't really see what the rules are, though. Alright, hopefully Happiny evolves, but after what happened last time... Ugh. That's so annoying. It's so annoying, man. Wow, that was a crit. Alright, that we probably won't be able to stand much longer. Uh-oh. I don't think we'll be slower, though. I don't think he'll be able to... Uh, he probably won't survive the hail, even if he does manage to faint. Pseudo. Okay. Cool. Coolio. Do-do-do-do. Azumarill grew. Oh, okay. You made it. Ponyta. Must be nice to have a Ponyta around here. You can ride it if you have a saddle. And it can heat you up at the same time. It's interesting. Fi oh, it's okay, not very effective. I guess fairy is weak to fire, but fire isn't strong to fairy. Otherwise, that would have done neutral damage, which would be very interesting for fire to suddenly now do neutral to zero. But it doesn't. Anyway, how disappointing. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so I, I think Blissey also needs an item to be evolved into. It might be... Uh, let's see, it lays several eggs a day and won't share them with those who have evil in their hearts. Egg Pokemon. It might be pure happiness, but it might, maybe you, you, you hold on to an item and then trade the Pokemon. And then that's how you get Blissey. I'm not sure. You can make all the preparations in the world, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, now that we have that, uh... <laughs> she's one of the higher level Pokemon now. Let's test her out. Now that she's not a weak little baby. Are you a novice? Or are you capable? Oh, I think we can get some respite at that uh, house over there. Edward. Oh, man. There's a quad weakness right there. Oh, that's uh, nice. Uh huh. Confusing. Uh, is that a mosquito biting me? Okay. Guess if it's going to use special attacks, it's good I d at least didn't lower its physical. Oh no, my speed.
sharply, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Two. It sounded like it went to... Man, are we gonna get a... Well, I guess 60 is actually not too bad, as far as it goes. Oh, for crying out loud. But we do have the evasion protection, so... There's that. Alright, we're gonna get snowed on at the very least, but hopefully we'll at least be able to... Okay. At least we're avoiding its attacks, but it'd be nice it would all, if it would attack itself. But if it's not going to do that, at least we have Minimize. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that move. It's it's so useless to get other Pokemon confused. Every playthrough I have of a Pokemon game, I always try to go for the confusing strategy. And it's just like, it always ends up with... It just is never worth it. Because you got to consider... The time you spent to use that move could have been done damage you used to get the other Pokemon damaged. And if they're never going to become damaged because of that, then you end up just wasting your time. And your own hit points. Alright, well, she lowered our defense. So, yeah, if, if that hit, that, that would have been kind of an issue. But we managed to avoid it thanks to uh, Chansey's size difference. She made herself smaller. Never expected you to be an expert. Uh. You know how to play your your Pokemon with an edge. Uh, yeah, well, in that case, uh, a warm bed and a little else. We can step, uh, stop by in here. Say hello to these people. I don't have thick fat like some Pokemon, so I have to bundle up in clothes to keep warm. Feel free to take a power nap in that bed. As you can see, this lot's is simply furnished. And do you do what you like here? <laughs> can I read? Anyway, this is a good place to end things, so we will see you in the next one, and we'll continue the path towards <coughs> Snowhead. So see you then. Bye.